if I a little low energy. I'm an introvert and I'm kind of dead inside, so. Hey lot cards, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Got my little buddy here. This is Muffin. Muffin. Muff. Muffy. This is my kind of like dark pinup vibe. I wore this makeup when I cut these bangs. If you missed that video, I'll link it below or you can search on my channel. These are just like some clip-in bangs, so. But yeah, I wanted to recreate this makeup because it was super easy. It'll suit a ton of different people, different skin tones, different eye shapes. Just like you can pair it with any lip color you want with or without the lashes. Like you could wear it to like work, you could wear it out, you could add a wing. I mean, it's just beautiful and stunning and perfect and gorgeous. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell if you want to see when I upload. Because I don't have a schedule and so, yeah, it's kind of random. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so I have most of my face done already because you can pretty much do whatever kind of base makeup you want. Whatever suits you the best the best in your opinion and now we're gonna move on to the eyes it's gonna be pretty simple I'm gonna start with concealer on the eyes just to kind of cover up my skin tone this is the covergirl true blend undercover concealer and I have the shade L 100 fair I'm just gonna blend that around with a small brush like this Next, you're going to grab a color that is close to your skin tone. Probably use that same brush unless you put it somewhere that you can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so next, grab an eyeshadow that's going to match your concealer, and we're going to set all of this. So for me, I'm using Full Exposé from the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. Next up, I want to define my crease a little bit, and so I'm going to dip into a shade that is close to my contour shade. Whatever you use to contour or bronze, grab that. If you don't contour or bronze, then you're going to want to just get something a little bit, quite a bit darker than your skin tone, really. We want to create like a little bit of a, of a shadow, so I'm grabbing this color right here, Banter. Just going to pop that in the crease. So I kind of just like make my eyes kind of look, you know, kind of sleepy and shove it into the, uh, <laughs> shove the brush into the crease there. You want kind of like a tapered but like long brush like this so that you can get in there because we want it to create this just like soft shadow, create some depth. Taking an angled fluffy brush like this and popping that shade on the lower lash line. Pretty much all the way around and then kind of flick it out when you get to the outer corner. Next I'm just taking a tiny bit more of that same color on this little angled brush and I just kind of stamp it on the outer corner just so that like basically this color is all the way around the eye but it's also kind of in a V shape. And I just do this because it minimizes, I feel like it minimizes the fact that my eyes are hooded a, a little bit. Next up, a black eyeshadow. This one's Spyglass from that same palette. I'm dipping in on an angled brush like this. It's kind of thick. Gonna want to make sure to pick up a decent amount but tap it off because we don't want any fallout. And I'm gonna push this along my lash line. Try to make it a little thicker on the outer corners. Now I'm just gonna take a brush with nothing on it and flick the black shadow upwards to blend it. Next we're gonna take a little tiny bit of that black and do kind of the same thing on the lower lash line. Get it right up close to the eyelashes. Only this time we're not going all the way across. We're kind of keeping it right there on that outer third. And we connect it to the upper. You can take that same brush or maybe even if you want to be extra careful, take a slightly smaller brush. This is a ColourPop E19. I feel like this is going to be perfect. And we're just going to smudge that around. 
Sometimes when I blend my lower lash line, it helps to just kind of like close my eye. Okay, so that is looking a bomb. <laughs> I'm going to pop a neutral uh, eyeliner in my waterline. This is 005 Nude by Rimmel. Next up, mascara and lashes. This is the uh, Luxurious Volumizing Mascara by Sam Marcel. And I, I think it's beautiful. As you guys know, I love big lashes and I cannot lie. So, I'm popping some big ass lashes on. And while my eyelash glue dries, I noticed that I got a teensy bit of mascara. And so I'm gonna put some powder. Gosh, I love this stuff. The Urban Decay Powder Foundation brightens so much. Look at that. Wow, that is beaut. All right, guys, home stretch. We're gonna add a teensy bit more blush. Just because I like to layer up. Bellini by uh, Ofra. Such a perfect blush to just like layer with, you know? Highlight. We need highlight. I just want a neutral white highlight. So I'm going to go in with Chaos from Divina Cosmetics right here. That is silver. Okay. Woo! Let's do this color pop one to tone it down a little bit. You're a catch. And I'm gonna use like a bigger fluffy brush to kind of just like blend that around. It looks beautiful, like on camera and with these lights, but I feel like in, in real life, this would look so stupid. Toning it down, we're toning it down. <laughs> The lipstick that I was wearing in that video is this one right here. This is Sam Marcel liquid lipstick in the shade Colette, which ends up being a really, really dark, almost black, like it said burgundy, like a really, really dark burgundy. It's beautiful, but uh, this formula can be a little dry if you like put on like lots and lots of layers, so try to keep it thin. Some people are intimidated by dark lip colors because it, they feel like it makes their lips look small. It's nice to overdraw when you have a dark lip color because I feel like it's less obvious. So that's what I'm doing right there. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit, but that isn't my real lip. Like that's like, yeah. So recently, Snitchery and Raw Beauty Christy have been talking about this technique, but bitch, I've been doing it for a really long time. I'm sure a lot of people have. You take a, oh jeez. Take your Dermacol. I'm telling you guys, it has to be Dermacol. Get a little bit on this tiny little brush right here. This is from Wet n Wild. And... You can use that to clean up, see? And then it's on the brush, wipe it on your hand, get a little bit more concealer, and then go in on the other side and repeat until it looks perfect. And there you have it, there's my dark pinup makeup look. You can easily do any color that you want for the lips, you can add a wing you can do it without the lashes if you want but i just feel like this is really pretty and flattering and like it's su su suitable for like almost any occasion like if you did an, a nude lip like you could easily wear this kind of makeup to work maybe minus the lashes but if there's any other um iconic trends or like styles or genres of makeup that you guys want me to try or like recreate hit me up down in the comments and i love to hear from you all right see you in the next one bye